as you are. Yeah. The and, uh, uh, cool thing about Shopify's draft is um, they've gone Arsonist on the Batrider. They've gone Snot Rocket on the Bristleback. They're push? all inning on this Minus Armor. They are all inning on this push. Exactly. They are going to hit a like 20 minute timing, 25 maybe timing. And they're going to roll with it hardcore. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I think this is going to be a... I think they just know. They're confident. They think they have the edge. They know they have the yeah. edge skill-wise, experience-wise, uh, support-wise even. And they're just looking to break the break the, the morale of the Dire here as Muzi. The first target. Oh... No, the snot stacks are so big, the double bushwhack not gonna be oh enough. Yopaj even getting first blood. Oh, crash. All right, pack it up. Let's go, zone. Yeah, back, to back to the academy. Back to the academy. Back to class yeah. in session. And a nice little pause. And crash, not you know, we, we have the, the fortune of casting together over yes. months, a year almost, maybe even more at this point. Our, our favorite pet peeve is in this game, Amaterasu, uh, the player badge not matching the name. And oh. can you say this? Say say their, the player name for me, Ma Mangekyo. What's right, Mangeku? Mangeku, Mangeku. So it, it's okay. funny, they're both, uh, at least in my eyes, they're both like Naruto references to like Itachi. Or uh -huh. I guess Sasuke too, but like uh, uh, Amaterasu is like this like never ending black flame. Sure. Uh, and then Manga Q is the like special eye, the shine gun, yeah. whatever. Right, manga Q. Nerd stuff. You know we celebrate all aspects of nerdum here Stay on our cast, you. and uh, I'm happy to learn a little bit and dive even deeper. Let me push up my glasses as I. Uh... <laughs> yes, yes. Make sure you get that like shine in the in the right. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Leaning forward over my keyboard. Obviously, Shopify Rebellion trying to vie for a position here of as many bounty runes as possible. And it looks like they might get all four, Crash. What do you think about this? Well, Good. they don't quite, but oh. still, this is definitely one of those situations where someone is overconfident. Um, and that's Shopify, but they have every right to be. Uh, this is a game where they, on paper, should win hands down. If they lose this... It will be one of the bigger upsets in NA history. Absolutely, um, especially first round of the upper bracket. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, getting eliminated would probably be even worse. But right. I, yeah, but losing say, in this position, not good. I will say, Zone Academy, they played brilliantly from behind yesterday. So they, they've shown that they do have the grit to stick out a game that might otherwise be unfavorable. All right, this is a wand lane, if I've ever seen one on the top side. Both of the dire heroes stick already, working on that wand. And <laughs> this lich is a little worse for wear. Uh, eight, eight charge stick pending. Uh, Bristle the bully has two enchanted mangoes in the bag. Feels reminiscent of playing against an undying almost. Oh, battle strikes this... through the range creep. Arsonist Goo lane is kind of crazy, actually. I never thought about how strong this lane was going to be. But these two heroes are going to output so much damage. Sure, it requires, you know, wand charges to be thrown around, but with the amount of damage that they're dealing, it's going to overwhelm them pretty, pretty heavily as they get more levels. Two, level three, even. Level two is a huge spike, for sure. Yeah, Miopage getting a nice courier snipe in the mid rolls through the tower. Um, some action bottom, but just posturing from the supports. And we're looking here at the top. I don't feel at all getting low. Bristle does die. And a hell of a lot of trades going on in the lane. The Sinister Gate is going to pull Hellscream back, though ultimately is fine. But the Mars dying in the off lane as well. Oh, this new napalm looks so cool. Oh, the green. He's got the green already. He's got the goo. This is a gooey lane, dude. Yeah, uh, lore appropriate checks out. Yeah, yeah. and there is the uh, the Nether Ward you mentioned. Uh, it's got the Monkey's ward. almost dead again. Oh no, the mischief not enough to get the save. 
Hell Scream gets the kill. And there's that level that's two, monkey. right? Like uh, that's all they need. And Monkey is dead every time, and he will be dead every time. There's nothing this Monkey does to help that. Yeah, the repositioning from the Flame Break as well really prevents any any easy escape. Tree Dance is just not in the question as well. And... Exactly. Like legitimately, what do you do as a Monkey King to stay alive in this lane? Um, uh, nothing really. You can't even tree dance away when they start going. You like, let's say you tree dance as soon as the first goo connects. Mm -hmm. You just get flame, you just broken, flame right? breaked out of it, right? Like, it's so hard to play this game. Do you think a lane swap could have been the answer earlier? Was it too late now? I think Monkey it's too late now. It's fine, right? Yeah, so it, it's okay. The minus armor is a little hard. Um, I think that really, honestly, Shopify just kind of outdrafted them. Um, there's you're, there's no real happy camper situation here for this Monkey King. And I think that's one of the big problems with Monkey. Yeah, we get a bit of a soggy camper here. The Lich hit with all the snot, pushed back with the Flame Break and Hell Scream on a killing spree, leaving his victim screaming in agony. And God, this Monkey King, miserable. 12 charge on the stick. Camp easy camp is blocked, so no help, no like hope of a pull. Hard camp, blah, not unblocked by the dire. I don't know, man. This is you need a pivot and you need it fast. Monkey has more long charges than CS. Pivot not gonna happen in the favor of Zone Academy. And what an observation crash! More <laughs> one charges than CS, dude. Oh my That's god. Awful. It's awful. This uh, laning stage is quickly devolving. And uh, Shopify are the ones pulling out ahead. As the only <laughs> good lane, even decent lane, I would dare say, is this Invoker, who's 21 and 9 to Yopaj's The Earth Spirit's 22 and 6. So, Invoker, hunky dory. Can Invoker make the plays by himself to carry this game? Let's find out. I feel like the answer is probably going to be no. As we no. see Lich die with a whimper off on the side of the top lane. And Monkey King going to get some like one or two last hits. But Bristle not intimidated in the least. We see the first, I think, the first proc of Jingo Mastery here. Is it going to be enough to save him? The answer, most likely no, as he burns away. Oh, the Firefly. Too much to handle with those quills, with the goo coming in from the fog and a miserable start for our Monkey King. Taking a look here at mid, we see the first catapult wave arrive. Bit of chip damage on the tower, though Kagami in a good position to uh, go ahead and get it, get it off the tower. Uh, and thank you to the mastermind in eight. He's ahead of Yopaj, but Yopaj, gonna immediately nullify my words as he rolls yeah, right. into the <laughs> onto Muzi. And uh, a remark of note, Muzi uh, has been mostly an offlane player, I feel like, in the past. Flicks between offlane and mid. Interesting to see him in a support role as we see another role from Yopaj coming out under the mid tier 1. Batrider has also made a rotation. Magnetize coming out onto multiple heroes here. Muzi TPing in. Kagami gonna be able to get nice out, TP. sacrificing the squirrel and we have squirrel stew. Right at your tier one. Hellscream will not die. Scam with a timely decrepify. Saves his buddy and dodges Sunstrike. Top five firing on all cylinders. Bat would be the type of person to eat squirrel too. He's like that right amount of hick. You know what I'm talking about? Like oh, he's yeah. just there. Crash, I am <laughs> from the hills, my man. I I have eaten squirrel. It's Ooh. pretty good. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. I've heard it's very gamey. I had a friend who had eaten squirrel growing up because I also spent like teenage years in the boonies. Yeah, you got to watch out for the boomerang though. The boomerang and the crossbow, <laughs> yeah. they're really, they can really get in your teeth. As <laughs> Shopify getting the teeth of Zone Academy rolling through, Skim will claim the wisdom room as Yamato, Yamato Yamato on the Alchemist zoning for his team to have a safe escape. Unreal. The pressure 10 to 1, 4K net. Advantage and Dude, already it's, five. Oh my levels. god, it's seven minutes. Oh yeah. no, I didn't Both even see room. the 4k. Yeah, I think we oh saw boy. like 
I don't know what the current stats are, but when Wisdom Runes were introduced... Oh, well, more on that later. Monkey King getting dove under his tower. TP from Kagami. Gonna buy a little bit of time here. Hellscream likely to fall. The MP will seal the deal. And now I don't feel at all is back and looking to punish. The bristle back. Uh, Three-person goo coming out. Not gonna be enough. And finally, uh, penance has been delivered. Oh, the TP out. Didn't quite have gaze. Yeah. A 1400 net swing in favor of Zone Academy there. Uh, you know, a glimmer of hope, but how long will it last? The roll on Kagami with the Magnetize coming out, following up on Muzi as well. TP response coming in from the Lich, though. No Chain Frost, to just a, maybe a Chain Feed coming in. Lich does die to the Nether Ward, and Muzi gonna be soon to follow his friend into the graveyard. Crash, this is looking dire for the dire. This it is indeed. One dismantled. I don't know if you uh, saw that either, but Pugna started that uh, initiation with half HP, and despite taking damage from abilities, just from level it. 1 Nether Ward, he ended it on half HP. Oh my god. It is insane. And this monkey, speaking of insane, is uh, still not having a fun time. Might be pulling his hair out just a little bit at this lane as... You know carries, Malibu, they're fragile. You need to support them and love them and give them care and farm and just enough gold and maybe one day they'll carry you. But not like this. Crash. Uh, more on that carry uh, knowledge later here. Yopach getting healed up with the decrepit by taking away any right-click threat from the dire skem will give his life to save his mid laner. Bristle gonna get a kill on the Lich and now Yopach is back in and says, hey, have you heard of my friend? Bristle back in. Yeah, so cool. a visit. Little one two punch from Shopify. As the Boundless Strike misses Hell Scream, juking onto the high ground thanks to the Firefly, the Monkey King will fall, rejoined by the Dire Tree, the Radiant Trio there. Yeah, Crash, so you know how to nurture and uh, hmm. bring these these cores to, to a spot in their life where they can be contributors and healthy members of the team. I know how to break them down. I'm the Is off laner. I'm back, the poor. The bad rider lane. <laughs> I know. I know how to get into the minds of the opposition and weave just a little needle thin hole that grows over time, breaking the spirits of the team. That's my specialty. Oh, Muzi denies the invis rune. We'll pay for it. Magnetize used. Perhaps it'd be a bit preemptively. Yopaj maybe not wanting to risk it. Uh, the Bristleback does die. Squirrel gives her life. Finally, in the tree line, the juke. Uh, you know, you ran out of potential. So, Bristle for the Hoodwink. Not bad, but I've got bad news, Crash. And it starts oh, no. with our... Are you happy to see a Radiance on the, uh, the Alchemist 10 minutes? No. Yeah. yeah oh, tomato. no. Mad lad. Someone's got to kill it on the Courier. Go, please, anyone. <laughs> Ain't no oh, nobody so that one. Yeah. Oh no. No. Yamato, Yamato is running away with this game. Yeah. Yeah. Sitting at 8.4k net worth, uh, double the net worth of any proximal dire hero. Mars is the closest to him at 4.6. So maybe not not exactly double the Mars, uh, who is getting closer to the blank dagger, about 1,000 gold away. Perhaps the saving grace of the Zone Academy's thoughts, but here we go. Himera is in, hits the Arena of Blood onto one. EMP coming up to really dissuade Tomato from moving forward. We'll land the Chemical Rage, the, the Concoction. But now a roll from Yopaj finds that Mars in the trees. And I don't feel at all trying to get away from the pain. Monkey? Not silenced up just yet, but those boulders have hit the mark. And that Concoction does not taste too great. A little bitter, perhaps. Is this just a T2 at 12 minutes? They have I a catapult and Pugna. Uh, the Frost Armor Small doing Frost a little Armor. bit of work here. Yeah, yeah, it'll um, be fine. They kill the Siege Creep as well. They might kill the Pugna as well. Tornado misses the mark, and now Shopify numbers are too proximal to really, really go on this Pugna. This well, Observer Word here in the yeah. Triangle is doing a ton of work for Shopify. Really lets them know how much they can limit push here. Oh, it's Beacon of Pushing the Limits. Tomato heard the call. Throws the concoction. He's got a 20 charge wand and a greater healing lotus. 
there is no danger being posed to this alchemist at all and he just trusts the radiance burn the firefly damage to uh, do the job for him walks out they did a good job splitting there for the chain frost that was really nice yeah in the mid lane the spear misses but three on to yopage here skem is in the neighborhood with the concoction cooking up he gets the magnetize out and it's a bit of a reversal here for shopify rebellion as kagami trying to escape under the safety of the tier two they've already lost their mars dead for 25 seconds more and the first last of that i believe we have seen coming out pulling him back into the embrace of shopify rebellion chain frost is bouncing okay they get the monkey but the pugna so at this stage of the game i think really it's not as bad as you would think for zone academy they keep their tower up but man they are playing under <laughs> triple observer ward here and they are gonna lose this invoker the scouting the stuns it's simply too much you could take away alchemist from this draft and make it a 4v5 and shopify would still have an net worth yeah <laughs> that's insane you know we almost saw like a 3v5 last game yeah, um, we did. <laughs> in the other two teams. Fascinating. And Trash just drawing attention to some warding shenanigans. You know how we saw like the ward on the low ground, the ward on the high ground, and then the expiring ward in the triangle. If you yeah, no one no one really expects to have those two observers so close to each other. So you kill one, you think, oh, we're good. There's no way they have another ward, right? So yeah, Shopify until still they do. have vision until they do. And oh no, spotted out the flame break. Kagami picks up the shield rune, but I don't think it's going to be enough to get you out of this one. Arena coming out with a spear, but Yopaj rolling back into it. Himera does get almost to the high ground. It's got free land, but uh, three dead for the dire. Yopaj rolling for another target. But Monkey King is already out of that neighborhood. Hey, remember when uh, Mars was about a thousand away from his blink dagger? three minutes ago no he's Crash, still about no. a thousand away from that blank dagger not quite he's about 900 away now but still uh it's it's not looking good for for old zone academy but it's not looking uh yeah it's looking bad uh <laughs> Whatever hope and hope you may have in that canister there, Malibu, I'm going to need some of that because uh, I don't see it. You know, international shipping rates may apply, but I, you know, it's in demand, so I will do what I can. Perfect. Yeah. It got me. It got the spirit vessel. It has the Midas queued up, so we know, they know, if there's any chance that these boys have of being in the contest, it is going to be in the long haul. As we see Shopify begin their first Roshan attempt. They do not really anticipate it being thwarted. No arena. Chain Frost could throw a bit of a wrench in the works. Scout it out with the Sun Strike. So Zone Academy are aware. But yeah. maybe I think this just gives them confidence to farm around the map a little more. Be a little more aggressive in pushing a lane. But I say that and Kagami is going to get punished for it immediately. Yopaj on the map in the neighborhood. Finds the invoker, they get a kill. Skem gonna claim the bounty on invoker. Was that a long TP? That TP fell longer than normal. Was I crazy? Because uh, what? Roll cooldown is what? Oh, four seconds. So okay, I think Yopaj was already there, and it was Skem that TP'd it. Oh, but. More on that later. Nice Frost Blast coming in for Makarak with bounces are going in this Mars Pit. And we're going to have a decent kill onto the Bat Rider, but it's all falling apart for the Dire. Zone Academy lose three. Yopaj is completely unchained, untethered. Blade Mail soon with the BKB to follow. How do you limit the threats of Shopify? <laughs> you, uh. You know? You know? Th there is one way. There is actually one way. Mm hmm. I think you know the Wait way up. too, Malibu. Uh, um, there, there's, DDoS there's, attack. Well, specifically, there's two little little things you could do to change the state of this game, and that's type GG and hope for a go next. Um, sure. You have no damage. You have no ways of coming back. Monkey King is not this sort of flash farmer. He recovers by getting kills, and right. there's no one to do that on here. Oh, I think... Nope. 
Oh, see, Yopaj going in, finds Muzi with the roll, is stunned, but the concoction will land, doing over half of the squirrel's health. That blink. Poor, poor Muzi. Going down. Oh, no. Mangekyu is under the tier 2 with Yopaj. Wukong's command is put down here. A circle on a circle, and the Spear Mars will land. Oh no, the concoction onto to it. It's a huge reversal from Shopify. They're all dying. For three dead, four dead. And Yopaj living on the outskirts. Healed up by Skem, team player, TM. And now it's just Muzi. One little squirrel against the world. And I don't think she can do it, my friend. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Daedalus, Deso, Gleipnir, uh, Divine Rapier, mm -hmm. two Divine Rapiers. Maybe. And Maybe you could do it. And Hopes and Dreams. Maybe then you could do it. And then she gets jumped by two blinks in a roll. Yeah, and then half your health gets disappeared by the alchemy. Yeah. 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 Good Good talk. Good game. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad, we, glad we came to a good conclusion. <laughs> Uh, you know, you know, I've I've seen teams throw games, but I don't know if I've seen a team throw a 26k lead at 18 minutes. I feel like I've seen Shopify throw a 26k lead, but not at 18 minutes. Uh, yeah. Definitely not at 18 minutes. Radiant are scanning. Yeah, leading All by right, 20 Mars. levels. <laughs> You've got your blink dagger. Target. <laughs> oh, did not get a blink in time. It wasn't canceled by the Radiance either. So we see. Yopa, or Tomato, just uh, close the gap and walk him down. A decent God's Rebuke with the Spear of Mars. And Himera might be out scot-free unless we find Purchase here with a God level blink. Ooh. No. All right. Mars buying some time here, but no time to talk. Gami going in. Find Makarek as Yopaj is following the Lich, trying to get to the high ground. Will roll, misses, goes wide left. The field goal is good. Which gets the Chain Frost out, but Skem is simply too beefy at this point in the game. 1400 HP, Life Drain available, and now Shopify looking to reach high ground here. Tier 3. Uh, there's nothing they can do. Yeah. yeah. Fine they time. Need Mars Tornado Arena. into the fortification. They spear the Bristleback, and we do see the Mars Arena separating the Bristleback from the rest of his team, but not separating from Skem. Life Drain coming in, restoring that HP. The Squirrel dies, the Invoker dies, and soon to follow will be the Monkey King. Put back into the cage on display. Wukong is no more. But damn it, no, Zone Academy. Is, uh, They've got hard yeah, crash. GG. No, they don't. They've called it GG <laughs> just as you say that. Why? Has been, uh, Must the world stopped. contradict me? Yes. Why, you know, it's been why, a full why, day why, of contradictions why. for you, Malibu. Yeah. But, you know, we have to learn to roll with the punches, as I'm sure the Zone Academy will do their best to roll with this punch. This gut punch, even, mm. of game one. I think maybe, like, a Sanjinyasha eventually on your Slark could help out with the massive amount of control that Shopify have. But, well, we'll see how it pans out here in game two. The Shopify versus Zone Academy. Crash, I got to get my prediction here to uh, yep. to the Shopify draft. I like this DK character, man. He's just so beefy, and then he he, he turns flips the switch from beefcake to damage dealer, like that. Like level sixteen, level eighteen, around that time he's getting Crystalis Daedalus, and then he just starts chunking any hero on the map. True. Yeah, DK. <sighs> What is it like? Armlet, blink, S and Y, and he's hitting for like four hundred or three hundred or something like that. It, yeah, sometimes it's actually see, crazy. Sometimes you'll see a mask of madness picked up as well. Yep, yep. And then yep. then flex that into like a satanic later. So a lot of options available. Thirty seconds. But the teams neighboring each other. Oh, Muzi gave up first blood last time. Don't think that he wants to give it up again here. Do you think uh do you think Zone Academy pay for Dota Plus on their heroes other than Storm? Because this is this is embarrassing. They're all they're all little Dorito chips. <laughs> uh no, these probably probably not, right? Oh no, you that's a high tier voice line. Yeah, the gotcha, that's high tier. Okay. Maybe it just expired, you know, it relapsed yeah. as uh 
certainly gonna see a hero expire here as the reflection comes out. Slark getting low. We'll give up first blood to the mid laner. Yopaj gonna claim it. Second match in a row, right? I think he got a first game too. He did. He did indeed. Yeah. He's spoiled, Crash. He is, he is. My mid laner is so spoiled. You know, mid laners are a lot like safe laners. You gotta you gotta cultivate them and grow them and nurture them. Um I'd say <laughs> honestly they're more volatile than safe laners. Uh the amount of times I've seen mid laners just quit before the game starts is uh mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's either the mid laner or the safe laner, that's all I'll say. Uh, good old off laners, they'll stick through it all. Oh man, they especially if they've play, been playing since the role of the sacrificial, <laughs> like the, the tri lane the meta. If <laughs> God, yeah, you know how to take a beating. Yes. If you were forged in those fires. Crash, I'm I'm gonna say it. It's a bold opinion. I think Puckish is too strong. Uh yes, I agree. Um right. the the fact that you can just walk under tower and jaunt and then gain like a hundred HP. Oh not cool. Insane. Not cool. No. Oh, Hamera trying to walk to his own tower. Bud grenade dragon tail combo. Coming out, the Fade Bolt reducing the enemy damage, but a little too late to really help him escape a majority of the Onslaught. The Enchantress can just ping you from afar, and now Slark gonna not go down. Uh, Wand Charge delivers, but he may lose his buddy, his pal, his good time boy, Techies. Oh, Spoon, Splee, Squeen, they're gone. So I know and we touched on it a bit before on the draft. But I do want to clarify, now that this Slark has been picked up, soft lane TB feels good. Um, it, it, it just, like, it's an Agi hero, right? It's an Agi hero that you can actually reflection and it does damage. Um, and it's kind of as simple as that. That's what you want to look for with this TB3. So, they right. hand that to them, you pick up the, you, you know, you slam down that TB3, and you do a lot in this lane. Slark? You know, this is the, why are you hurting yourself, dude. This, this is an illusion. You got to be careful from it. And now that the level honestly, two, Hellscream is going to output so much damage. Certainly. And I mean, some of the threat of laning against a Slark, you're worried about the essence shift stacks building mm -hmm. up. Well, you get enough stacks, that reflection is going to hit you all the harder. Yeah. Yeah. That's another one of those situations similar to the pug in the last game where like you hit a certain level and you're like, yeah, yeah, like come, go on me, let's do this. Let's 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 one v one right now. Like um, you feeling lucky? Punk? Yeah, exactly. Now, on a big fight brewing here for the top Lotus. Tamara will claim it. Stunned up by Tomato. And Muzi, gonna get a nice little courier snipe. Fair gold inflection coming for the radiant. Two kills so on far, the so good. Already, I hate that it's three minutes of saying that. I know. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. That, like, yeah. And there's still two kills by three and a half minutes, so it's not that Oh, we're going to see another off of a great play from Skim. Using the Wild Ring Ripper Tornado to pull Himera back in. Body the body blocks. block from the bird is simply too much, and a little peck will spell his undoing. Doom falls. And in the mid lane, Kagami trying to get away from the big bully Yopage. Wilson that static slide, remnant forward two steps this time. Kagami joking to the tree line. Yopaj eats the remnant, jaunts to the orb in the tree line, is able to get out of there just in time for the water rune to spawn. Rubik does die off screen, but uh, you know, this battle is the Yopaj limit pushing, gets the region from Kagami with the puckish the attack disjointed. And he TPs, no, he's gonna oh challenge God. the water rune. The ping comes out. He says, wait, wait, wait. Oh no, Kagami gets silenced. And the orb to the high ground gonna force Kagami deeper into enemy territory. However, Muzi TPing in, Kagami buying time, sends the remnant down, gets the vortex, pulling Yopaj in. The kill will come out on the storm. The puck goes ethereal, comes back to our realm, our plane of existence. And Muzi doesn't really have a ton left in here. Puckish, giving a little bit of HP back, and a nice deny of Muzi just being annoying to the nth degree. Ah, uh, you know, at least he didn't feed the uh, the Puck another kill, but Crash, that's so much region, that's so much economy for the Puck. And, you know, we do see a nice return action coming out from Shopify. 
My attack use just crumbles in this lane. How do you yeah. stand your ground against this TB with the points into meta? A point, uh, two points now into reflection. It's just too much. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, brother. It's uh, it's gonna be a tough scenario for the next, I don't know, five minutes for that techies <laughs> till he gets six. And he's only level three at this point. Shopify probably gonna gun for both wisdom runes again this game. I would imagine. Yeah. Especially you gotta do the damage. Yeah. Yeah. It's... Oh, Storm Spirit surrounded on all sides by enemies and a Hellbear Smasher coming in to eat these tower shots. The Stomp coming in, doing 120 damage, a silence from the puck, and now the Impetus is arriving. They kill the Storm. You know, Zone Academy, they do kill the Terror Blade. They get a That's nice awesome. look in the Slark, getting the gold, majority of the gold there, and one permanent agility gained from the Essence Shift. Six wow. minute rune coming up. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I know, Macarac I know. Hold your horse, everybody. Okay. <laughs> no, Makarek went squeeze scope. The, like, carry techie sort of. The range and attack speed. Yeah, for, uh, range based on attack speed. Yeah. We'll see if Ooh, it pays okay. off. Big fight of Bruin here mid. Yopage is in. No Doom available yet. Only level four. The silence coming out from Puck. And they go forward with the blast off. Makarek. Reaching, but not fighting, and Yopash coming back in, Coil onto one, Doom does proc the Coil, taking a little bit of damage and a stun, and now Kagami looking to close the gap here on Hellscream, will be unsuccessful. Scam arrives, Acorn, angry, ready to throw it, the Seed Shot is throwing damage, coming out, bounces, it does die under the tower though, and a brief reset here for both teams in the middle lane. And every time a range creep hits Yopaj, he just gets that puckish. So dumb. So dumb. Yep. Make it not proc on towers and creeps, and maybe we've got more of a balanced ability. Yeah. Yeah. You, ooh, Tomato, Yamato. Under the tower, the brief fire. Not going to get the kill. Um, and Muzi was able to claim his, own, claim his own wisdom rune. So wisdom's going one for one. A bit more of an even footing here in game two for the teams. Thank goodness, they need their six on their supports real damn bad. Uh, Rubik is literally just too. not a hero. Yeah, that would yeah. be that would be nice too. Uh, actually, Rubik has more XP than Doom. That's something. Muzi did claim the Wisdom Rune, so that's probably why. And my yeah. guess is that the other split would go to the Techies as well. See some action here in the top lane though. And Skem getting walked down by Himera. You know, you trade your Rubik for your Enchantress, but when you're in this scenario, I think you'll make that deal any day. And Himera yeah, eating this cleave damage too, man. Am I letting it get to spin? What the hell is happening? <laughs> Tomato get another kill. TP in from Kagami and the Slark took the Twin Gate. Looking to get a kill here on Tomato, but Yopaj has arrived. Will he have oh, enough no. in the arsenal to save his buddy? One dead. Tomato's still alive. I don't feel at all looking for a CS. Greedy, greedy boy. Stays right in the middle of the wave. But able to pounce to safety. Uh, you bait your mid laner. You know he's not going to be happy about that one. Storm is not happy whenever he is like lowest net worth on his team. Storm is definitely not happy when his net worth is mirroring the Enchantress. I didn't want to say it, but yeah. I'll say it. I'm yeah. brave and strong enough to say it. I don't care. Screw you Storm are. Spirit players. They're, they're, uh, you know, they're they're so skilled and they're so strong, and I can never match up to be anywhere like them. <laughs> it's envy. Uh, it's pure envy and jealousy. All right. This is eternal. Yeah. You feel it? Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. All righty. When Himera walking up to high ground, testing fate. Oh, Manga going forward on the Terror Blade, dodges the blast off. A little heads up move, of course, the uh, the Observer word from Skem gives him a great read on that ability. Vision does get pinged out. Say, hey, I think we're under a ward here, and you're under two wards, my buddies. Slark so now level six, so they will be able to clean up their jungle from these Observers. Could give them a breath of fresh air, but I think the Dyer are looking to keep the their presence up in the area. Yeah, if you're going to commit wards for this area, you need to actually play this area. And Storm is dead again in this mid lane by the looks of things. Yep. Oh, no. A lasso not even on the map yet. Batrider still level 5. 
Silence will be enough with a coil, though, from the puck. How's Slark looking here? Oh, not good. Uh, uh, head no of the storm spirit. Up. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, but like no items queued up. I I can't think of what this Slark will be going for. You know, you kind of need to be doing something which screams defusal, but then you're too squish. Yeah, taking a look here at the top side of the map, which I can tell will stun Kagami out of his first attempt on Hellscream's Batrider, though Electric Vortex pulling him back to his death. Himera does arrive, but perhaps a little too late for a second dinner. Second breakfast, Steven. Oh, but Muzi will be on the table for Shopify Rebellion. Gets the face shift stolen. Nice. However, does not have Puckish, so no region happening from that dodge. Uh, they get the Terror Blade, Slark, with another kill onto the Terror Blade. You know, you trade two for one. Not a bad deal. Oh. Pumped the Doom, but I got dodged. Yeah, very scary for a moment. Just for a moment, <laughs> other than that. Yeah. At yeah, and you, you keep your... It's not like you lay, waste your cooldown or anything, at least. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that would be so... Doom is now a projectile. What? <laughs> oh, my God. What an Puck awful players. change to the hero. <laughs> everybody everybody would start playing Puck, right? Yeah, right. Puck into Doom, all of a sudden, new meta. Buy Manta against every Doom and just destroy yeah. it. It comes in. Disgusting. Right, Slark. So bad. Slark is just north of this fight crash, and he's looking... Okay. Pounce does miss, though. The blink wow. dagger on Tomato gets him right out of danger. Good job, everyone. See you. See you back here next Tuesday. Um, yikes! That's you got to do something with this doom. It feels so bad that this doom is yet to be used. It's twelve minutes now. Maybe here at the twelve-minute rune, doom is silenced though. Rune spawns, and uh, Yopaj protecting himself with the phase shift, or sorry, the waning rift silence. Oh. Sticky Napalm is stolen. You put the Doom on the bat! Says no lasso for you, but a, a, a vacuum essentially coming out from Puck. You lose your Storm Spirit for the bat. Rubik to follow. Techie is going for the DP out, but it's not going to be quick enough. The damage just gives you no chance of escape oh, for no. dead on the side of Zone Academy. And once Crash again, we have the carry on, uh, on Shopify, almost doubling up the net worth of the carry on Zone Academy. Yeah. Oh, now, Crash, take a look at the, uh, well, this dying Slark, for one. The Silence will expire, has the Shadow Dance available. Pounce is available as well. He could trap Yopaj here behind the tower. Kagami's in zips and gets the Vortex. Now, the regen from Puckish is disgusting. Muzi joining the fray, but Mangekyu, Mangekyu, I'm going to keep saying it every time incorrectly because Boy, I okay. am a brute. And Makarak missing the blast off, and the silence with the vacuum on Yopaj, a nice little uh, Sunder coming out for the HP swap, keeping Yopaj alive. The Techies goes down, you do get the Doom, or the Doom gets the kill on the Terror Blade. Hope stop missing, but pump faking is still off cooldown, and Yopaj ultra kill. Your Slark is alive, though. Uh, but for what? Yeah, but he died at the beginning of that, yeah. so is he get really... Get him back on the map. He's... Yeah. He can't play against this DK, though he does have Shadow Dance, but I don't know, man. He is going diff you too. I think this is definitely the right call. Uh, yeah. you, you, you just need an item to do something. You cannot wait for an Aghanim Scepter. It's just too much dead net worth on the hero. Diff you into Ags will actually allow you to do things. You could go diff you into BKB too. I wouldn't totally hate it. But then oh, you're crash, crash! So oh, oh, no! Yes! No, he disjoints it! He doesn't walk into the ruin! Yopaj almost a safety here! Oh, he's Kagami out! Just not get the kill! And they get the kill on the techies! It's a disaster for Zone Academy! Oh, the class is in disarray! The teacher's out Wait. of the room and the kids have taken over. Okay. So All TB right. has not gone for Pipe because we talked about Pipe kind of not being very good this game. Oh, yeah. You well, know he got. went for the Orchid, has the Orchid, but also. Um, oh, what was what was I literally just about to say, and it's gone from my mind now. Oh, Storm has a damn soul ring. <laughs> what? Yeah, I've seen I've seen Storm start to build the soul ring. Um, 
I think they just like the armor. They like the the HP. Uh, the I mana so. region also benefits from the Kaya. Yeah. Which you get as well eventually. Saw this. Saw Kagami build this um, this exact build yesterday. It worked for him when he was behind, but the caliber of team that they were against. Inch fine Centaur, please. Nice little bit of banter for the boys. We love it. Yeah, Doom's just like, I got this damn acorn shot, man. I don't He's want been this. looking all game for any centaur, please. <laughs> don't Snap. be mad, boy. <laughs> slide. Oh, uh, love to see the banter coming out, but we're gonna see a coil on to Storm Spirit. Kagami here Storm. walking it out, gets silenced with the orchid, and now the impetus from Skem is so brutal. A decent lasso here. Limiting Hamera. No doom will be cast. Blink dagger completely ineffectual. Slark dying as well. And it is just all coming up. Shopify Rebellion. Four dead. Soon to be five. Oh my nice god. Thunder. Thunder. Preventing the death. Yeah. Oh, yeah. dude, this is it. <laughs> this yeah. is the beginning Manga of the end is, right now. Nanga is just playing out of his mind with these Thunders. Two good saves here already. The Royal Jelly, the Unholy Aura, getting them right back up to shape. 37 regen a second with those two applied to him. Already a third of his health back on the menu. And now Shopify ahead by 17k here at 16 minutes. Can they keep it incremental? Uh, the 17 ahead of the minute mark. What do you think, Crash? Yeah, if we end this, game, end this game at 30 minutes, Shopify will lead by 31k net. It's not going to 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see if they can make it picked up. Oh my god. Let's see if they can make it past the 20 minute mark. I, I, I have faith. Zone Academy going in. Himera gets the doom onto Manga. Now the pounce not landing. The defusal, though, doing enough of a job to slow him down. Kagami gonna claim the kill. Fairly large bounty. Yeah. That was a little spooky for a moment with that demon zeal movement speed and the doom. He almost got away. Yeah, I think that's how he missed the, or how he dodged the pounce, but Coil coming out onto Muzi and Tamara here. Kagami in the wings, but this puck is gone. Also has the shield rune applied, so roughly 2k HP. They found Tomato, though the fireball is oh. providing so much damage. Two dead just like that, and the snap of his little dragon fingers leading the charge again into the tree line with the blink of the dragon tail. But, uh, who's he not gonna did they, get out? Did they misclick? Because I swear they literally just walked up and started hitting them. Uh, not even hitting them. They just uh, walked up and hugged them. You know, they're huggers on the side of Zone Academy, and uh, Hellscream, also a hugger with that lasso. <laughs> Five dead for Zone Academy. Shopify are, uh, Playing like they've got no blemish on their record at all. This is like the third team wipe of the game, and it's 18 minutes. I don't get why you want to keep bringing heroes to this if you're Zone Academy. Split the map. Try to fight, uh, you know, these pickoffs. I understand that. Like, uh, okay. Well, let me run this through you, right? Because I don't think right. it's either going to be a slosh or. Whoa, 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 whoa. Run it by me. Run it by me. Yeah, yeah. me. Okay, dude. DK form stolen. Okay, hold on. Okay, listen. Puck just went on you mid. Why would you go on DK top when Puck just jaunted away into your triangle? What makes you think that's a good idea? Even if Coil is down already, Puck will be there to join the fight. And you're taking a 2v2 while you're 30k behind? 25k behind, sorry. Crash, um, crash. You're thinking, you're, thinking too, you're thinking too much about practicality and the numbers, my man. It's about fear. It's about showing that you're not afraid. Okay. You're not afraid to lose. You're not afraid to play the game. You can't roll the dice with nothing on the line. You gotta step True. up to the challenge. If you get intimidated, that's the game, baby. As long as you show that you are uh, not afraid to go off the chain a little bit, this dog will always have a bite. And uh, Rubik, as he mentioned, stole the dragon form. But more importantly, that fireball. Great wave mm. clear when you're in a situation such as this. Yeah, the fireball is is actually very nice. I'm surprised the DK Oh, and we see the too. fireball coming out for the right side here. Yamato oh, getting that kill under the tower. Hellscream did use lasso. Uh, so don't think you're... It. Yeah, you're not, you're not left wanting that lasso off cooldown. You still have plenty of tools in. And I don't feel it all going in with the Slark. A pounce and a buyback. Hellscream likely to fall here. 
You get a kill and you get a Doom onto the puck. This is the target you want. Kagami going in. The Dragon Tail onto the Doom. We'll stun him up in the... Oh no, he's silenced the Orchid. You always forget about the Terror Blade Orchid. Not correct now. Trying to get out. Not going to be likely here. And it's a complete reversal of Tune for Shopify. You lose your bat. GG. But that is that. GG called by Zone Academy. Shopify. <laughs> exactly, my friend. Capping it off here. In a Dota, baby. That's right, Muzi. <laughs> in a Dota. Never dead. 38 to what 8. Is that? 20 they minutes. never die. What do you mean? <laughs> but it rises. Yeah, but it rises again. Stronger and yeah. faster.